Kobe's missing a game against Toronto and Vince Carter because man, my back was really spasming. People would be like, what? Oh, he's ducking Vince. Excuse me? No, I don't think so. I would watch Magic play. I'd watch Michael play. And I would see them do these unbelievable things. And I'd say, you know, can I get to that level? I don't know, but let's find out. Trying to the basket inside. Oh, so at 13 years old, I had a, uh, <laughs> I had a kill list. Now you got a problem. I, I got to hunt them down and knock them down. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player. Everything. You're playing against the Golden State Warriors. Score is 107-109. You guys are close to getting into the playoffs. You know exactly what happens in the game. You go up, you're about to take your shot, and then all of a sudden, boom, yeah. Achilles happens, right? Friend of mine, Nima, and he told me, he says, Patrick, I don't think you understand. I have no clue how the hell this guy did it. He went and hit the free throws, and then you walk off the stage yeah. and then you got the surgery done. How the hell do you tolerate that kind of pain? I tell this example and I think this is the best way to explain it. Um, you know, you have a hamstring injury, you pull your hamstring really, really badly, you can barely walk, right? Let alone play anything. Soccer, basketball, volleyball, whatever it is, you can't do anything. Doctor tells you go home, sit up on the couch, rest your hammy, right? Stay off of it, don't get up, no sudden movements. You're at home, all of a sudden a, a fire breaks out in the home. Your kids are upstairs, you know, wife is you know, wherever she may be, you know, it's, it's going down. I'm willing to bet that you're going to forget about your hamstring, you're going to sprint upstairs, you're going to grab your kids, you know, make sure your wife's good, you're getting out of that house, right? Hamstring be damned, you're not going to feel your hamstring, right? And, and the reason is because the lives of your family are more important than the injury of your hamstring. And so when the game is more important than the injury itself, you don't feel that damn injury. Mm. I went in the trainer's room, my kids are in there, and you know, they're looking at you and stuff, and I'm looking at them, and I'm like, you know, it's all right, dad's gonna be all right. Mm -hmm. It'll be fine, it'll be all right, it'll be all right, it'll be all right. And as a parent, you gotta set the example if you want your kids to do whatever it is they want to accomplish in life, you have to show them. Mm. You can't, you got to show them. And that's what I tried to do. You got to set the example. This, this is another obstacle. This obstacle cannot define me. It's not going to cripple me. It's not going to be responsible for me stepping away from the game that I love. I'm going to step away on my own terms. How did you get your mindset into this alter ego to be comfortable being Black Mamba? Like, how, how did that happen? It's a good separation for me, you know, emotionally, to be able to put myself in a place where at practice or when I'm training or during games, I switch my mind to something else. I switch my mode into something else, right? For me, it's the equivalent of Maximus, Desmus, Meridius, and Gladiator picking up the dirt, smelling the dirt, it's go time, right? So that was my mental switch. It was like an actor getting ready for a film. You gotta put yourself in that cage. When you're in that cage, you are that character. And then when you leave there, it's something completely different. But when I'm in that cage, bro, don't touch me, don't talk to me. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Were there some names that you looked at and says, these three guys are as crazy as I am? I do, I, I, at the time I deal with what I've referred to as Goat Mountain. I went to Goat Mountain and I talked to Magic, Michael, Bird, Kim Olajuwon, Jerry West, Oscar Robinson, Bill Russell. I would talk to them. What did you do? What were your experiences? Michael in particular, he's become my big brother. And what was that process like? So I went to them and started understanding the ins and outs of the game and you know how they approach things and their level of detail and obsessiveness and um, that's what I did.
how long did you stay disciplined? Um, well, I mean, I mean, every day. I mean, since you know, 20 years. I mean, it was an everyday process in trying to figure out strengths and weaknesses. For example, jumping ability. Now, my vertical was a 40. It wasn't a 46 or a mm -hmm. 40, 45. Um, my hands are big, but they're not massive. Right? So you got to figure out ways to strengthen them so your hands are strong enough to be able to palm a ball and do the things that you need to do. Uh, quickness, I was quick, but not insanely quick. I was fast, but not ridiculously fast. Right? So I had to rely on skill a lot more. I had to rely on angles a lot more. I had to study the game a lot more. And, uh, but I enjoyed it though. So like from the time I was, I can remember when I started watching the game, I studied the game mm. and it just never changed. Like, I see a lot of players take vacations with other players that are close friends. And they'll just take vacations just to take vacations or just hang out just to hang out. I never did that. Because when I retire, I didn't want to have to say, I wish I would have done more. I play games with the flu. I play games with 102 degree fever, man. I don't deal with people that don't commit at that level, but then act as if they do. I don't deal with that. You know, you got a lot of people playing their hard-earned money to come watch you perform. It's your job to be in shape. It's your job to be strong enough to perform at that level every single night. And as a competitor, I'm not, I'm not ducking. Like, it's not, oh my God, my back hurts, I'm sore. We got to play Vince Carter and Toronto Raptors tonight. We actually had this happen. We had a game against Toronto, um, and Vince was tearing the league up. Um, my back was jacked. But like, the perception of that, like, what? Kobe's missing the game against Toronto and Vince Carter because man, my back was really spasming. But people will be like, what? Oh, he's ducking Vince. Excuse me? No, I don't think so. So I would be in the layup line like, okay, there's a lot of days where, you know, you can rest and recover. Today ain't one of them. Your back can bother you any other day. That shit ain't bothering me today. Wow. He's going to have to see oh, me today. How did you get mentally and emotionally so strong where it doesn't bother you. You know, it's, you got to look at the reality of the situation. You know, like for me, it's not, you know, you, you kind of got to get over yourself. Like, it's not about you, man. Like, oh, okay, you feel embarrassed. You're not that important. Like, <laughs> get over yourself. That, that's where you go. Get over yourself, right? Like you're worried about how people may perceive you and like you're walking around and it's embarrassing because you shot five air balls. Get over yourself, right? And then after that, it's okay, well, why did those air balls happen? got it. High school, year before, we played 35 games, max, right? Week in between, spaced out, plenty of time to rest. In the NBA, it's back to back to back to back to back to back to back. I didn't have the legs. So you look at the shot, every shot was online. Every shot was online, but every shot was short, right? I got to get stronger. I got to train differently. The weight training program that I'm doing, I got to tailor it for an 82 game season. Mm. So that when the playoffs come around, my legs are stronger and that ball gets there. So I look at it with rationale. I say, okay, well, the reason why I shot air balls is because my legs aren't there. I go, well, next year they'll be there. Everything was done to try to learn how to become a better basketball player, everything, everything. And so when you have that point of view, then literally the world becomes your library to help you to become better at your craft.